Hello everyone. We have here exponential equation that is 3 to the power of 4 to the power of x divided by 9 to the power of 16 to the power of x equals 1. And in this video, we'll be solving for the values of x. And before we start, for those new to my channel, I would appreciate if you can hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Thank you. And so in this video, I'll be presenting two ways to solve for the values of x. First method will be using the laws of exponents. And the second method will be using the laws of logarithms. So, right, let's start on our first method using the laws of exponent. We have here the first method. And we have here our equation. 3 to the power of 4 to the power of x divided by 9 to the power of 16 to the power of x equals 1. We're taking the denominator to the numerator. So we have 3 to the power of 4 to the power of x times 9 to the power of 16 to the power of x. And this time the exponent becomes negative. That is from the exponent formula. If we have here 1 over a to the power of m. Putting this to the numerator, so we have a to the power of negative m. The exponent from positive will become negative. And so we have negative exponent over here. And this is equal to 1. And now we focus on the base, base 9. And the exponent, base 16. So 9 can be written as 3 squared. Right, and 16 can be written as 4 squared. And so we have 3 to the power of 4 to the power of x times 9 is 3 squared. So that's 3 squared. And 16 that's negative is 4 squared. So that's negative 4 squared to the power of x equals 1. So this is now 3 to the power of 4 to the power of x times 3 to the power of negative 2 times 4 to the power of 2 to the power of x equals 1. So next, we're focusing our attention on the exponent of this part right here, 4 squared raised to the x power. So from the exponent formula, so we have a to the power of m raised to the power of n can be written the same way as a to the power of n raised to the power of m. So we're switching those exponents, right? m inside, now m becomes outside. So we'll be doing this on here. So our equation now becomes 3 to the power of 4 to the power of x times 3 to the power of negative 2 times 4 to the power of x to the power of 2 equals 1. And here we can write 1 the same way as 3 to the power of 0 since any number raised to the power of 0 is 1. We make it base 3 since the left hand side has base 3. So our equation now becomes 3 to the power of 4 to the power of x times 3 to the power of negative 2 times 4 to the power of x squared is equal to 3 to the power of 0. Simplifying the left hand side of the equation, since we have the same base from the exponent formula, and that is whenever we have the same base, let's say a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So we add the exponents algebraically. Since this is negative, so we will be adding sign numbers, right? So left hand side now becomes 3 to the power of 4 to the power of x. Since this is minus, so this is minus 2 times 4 to the power of x to the power of 2. And this is equal to 3 to the power of 0. And now if you notice, left and right hand side of the equations have the same base. So considering that the same base, we have a to the power of m equals a to the power of n. We have the same base, therefore we can equate their exponents. 
this will be m is equal to n. So m here is the exponent here, and here is 0. So we now have 4 to the power of x minus 2 times 4 to the power of x is squared equals 0. Factoring out 4 to the power of x, right? Since we have 4 to the power of x common on both terms, so we have 4 to the power of x times 1 minus 2 times 4 to the power of x, since this is squared. So 4x squared divided by 4x will be left with just 4 to the power of x. And this is equal to 0. And so from here, we can equate 4 to the power of x to 0, and this value equated to 0. So we have 4 to the power of x equals to 0, and 1 minus 2 times 4 to the power of x equals 0. Here, 4 to the power of x equals to 0. The left-hand side is positive, and it cannot be negative or 0, but the right-hand side is 0. So we cannot take this as the value of 4 to the power of x. So we're discarding this solution. And the other explanation to that is if we solve for the value of x over here, we take the logarithm of both sides. And logarithm of 0 is undefined. So we're totally rejecting this solution. So this is rejected. So we have here on the right 1 minus 2 times 4 to the power of x equals to 0. And so for x, so we have 1 is equal to 2 times 4 to the power of x. And simplifying this further, this becomes 1 over 2 equals 4 to the power of x. And here, 1 half can be written as 2 to the negative 1. And the right hand side, 4, can be written as 2 squared to the power of x. So our equation now becomes 2 to the power of negative 1 is equal to 2 to the power of 2x. So here we have the same base, so we can equate their exponents. So we have 2x is equal to negative 1. Solving for x divided by 2 both sides. So we have x is equal to negative 1 half. That's our value of x. Or this is equal to negative Point five. So this is our final answer. And so now let's do the second method. We're using logarithm. So here in using logarithm, we're transposing this denominator, putting it to the right hand side of the equation. So we now have 3 to the power of 4 to the power of x equals the denominator times 1. So this is 9 to the power of 16 to the power of x. Taking the logarithm of both sides, so we have logarithm of 3 to the power of 4 to the power of x equals logarithm of 9 to the power of 16 to the power of x. So now we can take down the exponent as coefficient from the logarithm power rule. So we have 4 to the power of x times logarithm of 3 equals 16 to the power of x times logarithm of 9. Combining like terms, that means we're putting all the variable on one side. We have this base 16 variable x exponent, the same thing over here, and put all the constant to the right hand side. So we have 4 to the power of x divided by this, 16 to the power of x equals this, logarithm of 9 divided by logarithm of 3. Simplify the left hand side, this becomes 4 over 16 to the power of x. So this is from the exponent formula, we have a quotient rule, if we have a to the power of m divided by b to the power of m. So this becomes a divided by b to the power of m. So we have here exponent m as x. So now the right hand side becomes logarithm of 9 
this can be written the same way as base 3. Logarithm 9, base 3. The denominator is logarithm 3. From the change of base formula. So here, 4 over 16, this is 1 fourth. You take the logarithm on both sides again. So we have logarithm of 1 fourth to exponent x is equal to the logarithm of the logarithm of 9 to base 3. Once again, taking down the exponent to the front. So we have x logarithm of 1 fourth equals logarithm of the logarithm of 9 base 3. Solving for x dividing by logarithm 1 fourth. Both sides of the equation. So we have x is equal to logarithm of of the logarithm of 9 base 3 divided by logarithm of 1 fourth. And this can be written the same way as logarithm of the logarithm of 9 base 3. And this 1 fourth over here that will become the base of 1 fourth. So this is equal to the logarithm of base 1 fourth and the logarithm of 9 base 3 that means what is the exponent of 3 to make it 9 that's 2 right so this is 2 so logarithm of 2 base 1 fourth so this is written the same way expressed in exponential form that will be if this will be x right so this will be 1 fourth to the power of x is equal to 2 so this is done right here, counterclockwise. 1 fourth of power of x is equal to 2. x is the exponent. And here, this can be written the same way as putting this 4 to the numerator, we have 2 is squared, right? Since 2 is squared, it's 4. And since this is from the bottom, the exponent will be negative. So this is negative 2 exponent. And to the power of x equals 2. And 2 here is to the power of 1. This is equal to 2 to the power of multiplying the exponents. So negative 2x equals 2 to the power of 1. The same base, we can equate their exponent, right? We put it over here. So this is 2 minus 2x is equal to 1. So for x, to so divide by negative 2, both sides. So we have x is equal to negative one half. So this is now our final answer. So we have the same answer as the first method. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, guys. Bye.